Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, a Jacksonville man who was on death row could be released at any moment. Jason Simpson was convicted of murdering a pregnant woman and a man with an ax back in 1999. But in January, Florida Supreme Court granted him a new trial after ruling that prosecutors did not give all the details to the defense in Simpson's case. Today, he pled guilty to the charges in exchange for time served plus probation. News for Jack's reporter Renee Beninati joining us live outside the Duval County Jail waiting for Simpson to be released. Renee? Kent, we are going to show you a live look because Simpson is making his way here out of the Duval County Jail, released along with his attorney, uh, making his way, as you can see, outside of the Duval County Jail. His first time not being behind bars, a free man after spending more than uh, about 15 years behind bars in a prison, walking away with his attorneys here. Uh, we also talked to family members of the victims, the sister and daughter who were also waiting here in the parking lot because they cannot believe this moment. They say they have to see it in person in order to believe it. And once again, Simpson making his way here into the parking lot from the Duval County Jail after spending more than 15 years behind bars. Mr. Simpson, good afternoon. From death row to free in Duval County, Jason Simpson walked into a courtroom Tuesday pleading guilty to a double murder with an axe after spending 15 years in prison for the crime. Investigators say Archie Cook and his pregnant girlfriend, Kimberly Kimbler, were found dead in their bedroom in July 1999. News 4 Jax talked to Kimbler's older sister, who cannot believe the news. This man is going to walk out of jail free? Yes. He is going from death row to the street. Thank you, Florida. A jury convicted Simpson in the double murders in 2007. You may be wondering, how can he walk free? In January of this year, Florida Supreme Court threw out this conviction and ruled that Simpson get a retrial. Their ruling states the initial conviction relied on testimony from a confidential informant, but defense attorneys argue they were never made aware of this. Instead of waiting for a retrial, Simpson chose to plead guilty for time served, plus being on probation. So I don't understand how now they're saying, um, you know, he can walk uh, because with time served of 7,000 days since 2002 to now because uh, as, a, as a matter of convenience, because he could be exonerated. Until this plea, Simpson has maintained his innocence. Now loved ones are questioning who the real killer is. Or if, it, if, if he didn't do it, then uh, the other guy walking. Tonight we did talk to Simpson's attorney off camera, John Mills. He did not want to comment on today's plea deal. Reporting live from outside the Duval County Jail, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, the local station.